his time here at Auburn. Uh, Chip Tethlis won an SEC West Championship. Uh, he's a very good coach, uh, great person, great family. Uh, wishing nothing best to, not the best of Kansas. Uh, a couple days ago, I hired Kenny Dillingham uh, from Memphis. I uh, got a chance last spring to go watch those guys practice, visit my friend Mike Norvell, the head coach, and got a chance to, to watch this guy in the meeting room with his quarterbacks. And it was uh, very impressive with his energy, his detail. Uh, just made a great impression on me. Then I got a chance to go watch practice and watch him do his thing. And really left uh, that practice field thinking, hey, that, that guy right there, I'd like to hire him someday. So pretty unique from that standpoint that, uh, that he's here with us. And really, I thought it was a perfect fit from the standpoint that He's doing the, he did the same thing for Mike and Norvell that he's going to do for me. Mike calls his plays, um, and then, of course, Mike was my GA, and we're kind of from the same uh, way of thinking. So very excited about Kenny. He is an energetic guy. Uh, he's a very good recruiter. Uh, he's very relatable. I know he's already uh, you know, working hard to develop relationships with our quarterback. As far as his role in the bowl, uh, right now he's just getting acclimated. Uh, he is getting used to our players, our coaches <coughs> today for the most part. He was just kind of seeing how we operate. You know, once we get the bowl side, he'll be up in the booth and uh, we'll do uh, some assisting as far as that goes. But he will not get full force until we get to the spring as far as that goes. Uh, moving forward, I'm calling the plays. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm very excited about that. Uh, really, that's probably my true comfort zone. Uh, Really looking forward to not just the bowl game, but you know going into next year. We got a lot of our guys back. Uh, we got a chance to be really good on offense. So really excited about that, and that's uh, something that I'm really looking forward to. A couple things I, I wanted to clear up uh, that are out there. Uh, first of all, my contract. Uh, my contract has not changed uh, one bit. Um, I was never told that I had to change my contract to keep my job. Um, got the support of our athletic director and president. Uh, there's nobody hamstringing me from doing our job. They're all both on the same page for helping us moving forward. I think the bottom line is when you go 75 and you have aspirations of winning a championship, which we did, and go 75, you know, no one's going to be happy. And uh, I'm not happy. Um, you know, I know our fans aren't. But I will tell you this, uh, we've got uh, really a lot to look forward to next year. Uh, we've got the majority of our team coming back. The recruiting's going really good. Not just good, but really good. And I think that's a tribute to our coaches. Uh, it's a tribute to the type of people we recruit, um, their families and everything that goes with that. So the guys we got coming back with uh, the class that we're about to sign, uh, very excited. Um, you know, I love Auburn. love being here. I've been here a long time. I know what it takes. Um, and really just excited about, uh, you know, moving forward. You know, as far as our preparation for the bowl, um, we had a very good practice today, uh, very spirited practice. Uh, I think it was 12 periods with our older guys. Uh, we really focused on the younger guys towards the end of practice. We put the ball down, uh, let them scrimmage a little bit. We'll do the same thing tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have seven straight practices uh, before we leave. Um, and then we'll go to the bowl site. We'll leave on the 19th. We'll get to the bowl site the 23rd. And once we get to the bowl site, we're just going to have a regular week of practice with a Tuesday practice, Wednesday, Thursday practice and then a Friday walk through and then play the game. You know, we're facing a Purdue team um, that uh, has been very impressive at times. I uh, got a chance to watch them on TV against Ohio State. <coughs> they beat them. They beat them convincingly. Um, they're very uh, well coached. Uh, their offense capable of putting up a lot of points. Their defense, uh, they play very hard. Uh, they're very sound. Uh, and, you know, it really it's a similar situation. Uh, feels very similar to what it did last year. We know we're going to get their best just like we did Central Florida. And we're looking at this thing as a really a one-game season. And, and our approach is this is a big game for us. And our guys understand that, not just for the seniors and the older guys and finishing the right way, but for next year and the offseason and everything that goes with it. So, uh, you know, really looking forward to, to playing Purdue in Nashville. I uh, want to also congratulate a couple of our players, Deshaun Davis, Jerry Sidham, and Dontavis Russell. Got invites to the Senior Bowl. Sean got his invite today during our team meeting. It was a pretty special deal. And of course, Ryan Davis will play in the East-West Shrine game. So uh, really excited for those guys. And uh, all those guys are not just really good players, but they're excellent people. Questions?
Gus, um, when you hired Chip Lindsay at his introductory press conference, you said, I'm retiring the clipboard. And then in 2016, after the LSU game, you said, quote, sometimes reality hits you in this day and time, in this league, to be head coach and call an offense is not realistic, at least for me. Why the change? Yeah, you know, I think at that time, I think that was very accurate. You know, uh, I've been the head coach here for six years. The demands of this job um, each year gets more challenging. But sometimes as a coach, uh, you got to evaluate where you're at. And some th sometimes ch things change, and they have. And so I just evaluated where we're at. And it's best for us if I move forward calling plays. I love to do that. And that's really who I am at my core. Um, we have, I have a lot of good people around me to help me do the other parts of being the head coach. Um, I feel very confident of that. And then the fact that uh, Kenny, uh, like I just said, I think he's a perfect complement for that. And then Cody Burns is a guy that's been with me a long time. And those two guys can definitely help with some of the things during the week. And then, like I said, I got a very good support system around me to help me do the head coaching thing. So, you know, that's uh, that's really how I got to this point. And uh, you know, it's been a process. And I think too, as a head coach, I mean, you you learn and you grow. And I think it's fair to say that that uh, that's happened to me in both areas. And uh, but I'm very confident right now that this is the right thing to do. And I expect to be doing this thing for a long time like this. And uh, so. Really looking forward to it. What's the worst of the class season you were disappointed with that other people were disappointed in? Were you surprised by just how angry and how many people were mad about that? No, you know, I've been here for, I guess, nine years. And I've been here when we've won championships and been here when we've had tough seasons. And, you know, our fans expect to win championships, and, and I do too. And, uh, but when you go seven and five, and, and there was times too, we weren't, we weren't as disciplined as we've been in the past. And uh, I think that has something to do with the frustration, too. Uh, so I get that and I understand that. And uh, that's what motivates me to get this thing turned around. I've been in a similar situation one other time when I've been the head coach. And, and we turned it around. And I expect us to do the same thing. Well, there's some influential people that wouldn't be fired, though. I mean, these are people from the inside. Did that bother you? That concern you? Were you worried about that? You know, as a head coach, you take care of, you control the things you control. I know there's a lot of uh, things that probably weren't accurate. I addressed a couple of those things. So as a head coach, you just do, you stay in your lane. You, you do everything you can to get the thing turned around. We're going to do that. And uh, I'm very confident in that. I'm excited about uh, the future, kind of like I said earlier. What, what did uh, Coach Norvell tell you about your new offensive coordinator? He's, he's yeah, rather he young. He told me uh, when I called him about him that uh, you're about to hire one of the up and coming superstars in college football. That's how highly he thinks of him. Um, and uh, he helped him a lot. And like I said, the, the thing that makes sense for me is that he's doing the same role for me as he did for Mike. And obviously they were top 10 in the country two years in a row offense. Uh, and I guess the comfort for me is that I got a chance to watch this guy work. And uh, that's very unique uh, as far as that. And, we're, we're kind of from the same tree, uh, not that I've worked with him before, but you know the fact that Mike was my GA and wide receiver coach at Tulsa when we were the number one offense in the country two years in a row, and uh, Mike's got his own flavor, which I think is healthy too, you know, because uh, Kenny will also bring some new ideas. You know, you've got to stay fresh and you've got to evolve offensively this day and time. So, you know, I think that's. Uh, it's a very positive thing that he's with us. In the immediate future, just for the bowl game, obviously you're calling the plays, but what's the meeting room going to be like? Cody Burns is passing game coordinator. What exactly does that entail? And how much are you going to go into game planning during the game? Or is someone going to present to you some you're ideas? For the bowl. For the bowl. Sure. For, the yeah, bowl. for the bowl, you know, you've got to build upon what you've done. I mean, you can't change everything completely. So I think it's more of kind of build upon what we've done this year and getting the best plan possible for this game with the players we have, uh, you know, with, with everything that goes with it. Uh, you know, Kenny is going to do more, probably more observing, uh, you know, as far as that goes. I mean, Cody's been with me a long time and Cody's a bright young man that um, has a lot of fresh ideas too. So 
Um, you know, it, it, it will be building upon what we've done so far this year and just try to put the best plan together, uh, you know, to, to play, play good on Who will handle uh, substitutions on offense for the bowl game? Well, it'll be the position coaches like we've done before. So it's just the position coaches. Yeah, not you, you got to understand that, you know, logistically, you've got to keep things as close to what you've done before as far as all those off the field things. So there won't be a whole lot of difference as far as the substitutions and everything that goes with it. Now, you know, as far as uh, who plays and all that, <coughs> I'll have a big factor in that along with the position coach. Do you want to change? things offensively? You want to give your guys the best chance of being successful. Um, so that's probably the best way to answer that. Do you feel like you have to win back uh, the Auburn folks? Uh, you, you know, the Auburn folks expect us to compete for championships and expect us to uh, go, go on the field and play good, disciplined football. And that's what we need to do. I mean, do you think you have to deal with, I, I, not deal with them, but interact with them one-on-one? -on -one, like to go out and meet Auburn people and try to. Yeah, let me just tell you, I love Auburn. And, and I think, you know, I've been here for nine years, through a, a lot of ups and downs, but I love Auburn. Uh, I love our players. I believe in our players. Um, like I said, I'm excited about next year, so it's probably the best way to answer that. Uh, is Martin, did you want him to return? And do you feel like his situation yeah. was handled correctly? Yeah, so, you know, this is, it was a new rule this year with the four games. <coughs> And early in, the, early in the year, there was a coach that thought it was three, one of them thought it was four. But after game six, everybody knew that he was playing. And, you know, we're going to play the, the best people. Uh, I will say this, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Ace and Martin in the future. Uh, he's a wonderful young man. Uh, he's got a very good family. So that was a mistake? Yeah, well, it was a mistake from the standpoint that one thought it was three, one thought it was four. Uh, but that was about game five and then, of course, game six. He was on the same page, and you know, I think he played six games, so it wasn't like he just, you know, stopped playing there. Did that mistake lead to him losing his red shirt? What's that? Did that mistake lead to him losing his red shirt, though? No, no, it, not, not at all. Uh, how about uh, health wise? Is, is everybody going to be ready to yeah, go for the bowl game? You know, Nick Cole obviously uh, had surgery, um, but I expect everybody else to, to be ready to go. So Nick Cole's out? Is Nick Cole out? At this point, uh, he's doubtful. It's probably the best way. Well, there, was there a conversation with Jarrett about him maybe playing or not playing? Was there no, play? you know, I think all along with Jarrett wanted to play. Um, I think any time, you know, you see all these high-profile guys out there, and especially the guys coming out, you know, that's always a question. But, you know, he loves his team. Um, you know, he's wanting to finish this thing out the right way. And I'm excited for him. One last chance to uh, you know, lead our team, and you know, he'll go down as, as one of the, the better quarterbacks, I think, to come through Auburn with everything he's done. You're provided 15 practices for the bowl. I guess you're using 10 or 11. My math might be wrong on that. Why the decision to only use that many? Is there a way to double up so you yeah, get fresh more? Yeah, teams, it, it was a little unique from the standpoint. This is the earliest bowl we've had uh, in a long time. I guess what is the 27th or 28th or something right. like that. So. Then you've got finals, so you know our finals for our players are this week too. So a couple of them had to miss practice today. I mean, that's going to be the the priority is getting them ready for finals. So it had to do with the early bowl and the final, uh, but still we feel like we'll we'll be able to accomplish what we need to uh, with with those. <coughs> how, how do you want to handle you know, quarterbacks in in this game with Jarrett? going out the door and you guys having to replace him next season, a guy like Malik or, yeah. you know, trying to play him in this bowl game? Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll see where that goes. But I will tell you this, uh, all those other quarterbacks are getting a lot lot more time uh, <coughs> this week in practice, uh, more attention, uh, more time, more reps, um, you know, just to help for uh, next year in their development this spring. Um, so. How do, you, how do you feel about the quarterback position moving forward with Jarrett, you know, leaving and the guys you got coming yeah, back? Yeah, I'm, I'm confident with the guys we have and then obviously the guys we got coming in. So, uh, you know, looking forward to, to working with those guys. And, uh, like I said, I, I feel very good about it, put it that way. Okay. Yes. Will any of your signings be enrolled in your bowl practice? The, 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 it is a possibility, yes. It, it is a possibility. 
there's a couple of them that are in the process of trying to get that done. I, I think, you know, the, the last two years, I think we practiced until the 21st. Our last practice is the 19th, so that's kind of put some of them are real close, but I do know there's some that are trying to do that. Have you Eli talked to uh, Eli since uh, he got named head coach yeah, today? Yeah, I'm proud of Eli. You know, Eli Drinkwitz is one of the, first of all, he's a great person. Of course, you all know him from being around here. And, uh, and I watched him. I met him when he was a sophomore. I was uh, an all-star assistant in high school in Arkansas. His head coach was was the head coach, and he was the, uh, the manager. That's when I got to know him. And then, of course, he volunteered for me at Springdale High School. And then when I left to go to college, he took over as office coordinator. And he got him here, I guess, in 2010 off the field. And then he was a GA. Just real proud of him. The journey he has. Uh, he's a class guy. He's a great uh, coach. Uh, he'll be real successful. Going back to the quarterbacks, obviously you bring three scholarship guys back. You have one committed. Is there any talk of trying to add one more to that mix? Uh, we'll, we'll see. I'm not ready to, to say yes or no with that. But uh, I will say this: I feel very good about the guys we have. I know you mentioned that recruiting's going well, but you know, given some of the off-season noise that there was, had did that provide any challenges on the recruiting side of things? Well, I think any time uh, you're dealing with, with stuff like that, it presents challenges. Uh, but, you know, like I said, our class is going great. And it's a tribute to our coaches. And it's a tribute to the relationships, the long-term relationships, and the people we're recruiting, and the trust they have in us. And I think that says a lot. Um, we're set up to have a very good recruiting class. There's a couple things that could happen. It may be one of the best recruit classes we've had since I've been here. And that says a lot with everything uh, as far as the negativity or whatever when you only win seven games and everything that goes with that. But it says a lot about them. It says a lot about uh, their belief in our future. And uh, so that's, that's a very positive. Yes, I know a lot of coaches feel this way about they feel like their backs against the wall every week, every day. But going into next season with so many fans, they are upset. Do you feel like your back is against the wall going into the next season, and do you feel like you perform at your best when you feel that pressure? You know, Brandon, I think when you're a head coach in the SEC uh, at Auburn or, or any of these other other jobs that you expect to win championships, I think you've got to be at your best every year, and that's the way I approach it. No matter how you did the year before, so like I said, I'm just I'm very excited about next year. I'm very excited about me running the offense, like I said before, um, and I'm excited about the guys we got coming back with uh, with the signees that we're about to sign. So I feel very good about next year. But this bowl game, we got to take care of this bowl game first. I wanted to ask about. We're probably going to talk to you again about. We don't know with the availability. You're one in four in bowl games. I mean, it, does that affect anything going into another season, yeah. the next season? Yeah, I mean, it, I think, like I said earlier, this is a big game for not only our senior center the right way, but the off season.